Hello everyone, uh, my name is Fluffy Waffle, and uh, I'm happy to announce that uh, my project that I've been working on for the past couple of months is finally being revealed. It is the Fox Waffle Cup, and something that I've been working on, of course, um, setting this up. Of course, if you're familiar with the, the former Fox Waffle Cup, we've done it before, um, it's just a couple of people, uh, casual players, and... We're here to uh, just enjoy ourselves. Of course, it's a prize pool, um, or a prize at least. I shouldn't say it. It isn't a pool, but it's a prize. And we have two brackets here. So on your left, you have the plat gold bracket, and on the right, you have the master diamond bracket. There will be best of threes in um, the semifinals, I guess you could call it. And in the finals, there's going to be a best of five. Okay, uh, let's hop into... Um, Uh, so we can bring up different stats, you know, so let's say nuke official is gonna be playing in the next game um, I can bring up nuke official stats. He's diamond one EU 4k MMR and everything uh, I think that overlays a little bit lag, but we'll go ahead and fix that here in a bit Okay, so let's hop into a game um, Uh, the registration is currently still open, but only for the gold and silver or uh, plat bracket because the top bracket is full. So if you're in gold or if you're in plat, you can go ahead and join it. It's on May 22nd, 23rd. All right, Gabe, let me follow your camera here for a bit. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, well, the game started, but I can't find Gabe's camera. Alright, well, let's just get in here. Alright, uh, in the bottom left corner, we have our blue Terran player, Stormy. And in the top left corner, we have the poster boy of StarCraft, the God Emperor. Mr. Sevenhead himself, we have Loco TV. So, um, I don't know how to get onto the observer camera. That's not what I was supposed to do. I clicked the back button. It's all right though. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, but on stream, um, Oh, he's, he's doing some sort of pull first build here. Anyway, uh, on stream, Gabe will actually be an observer and I can click like three or four and I'll be able to see his screen, hopefully. Yeah, I know, I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm messing things all up over the place. It's okay though, it's all right. Um, we still have two weeks until, um, until go time. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the gold bracket will be taking place Friday, May 22nd. And the plat master or the master diamond bracket is going to be taking place on May, on Saturday the twenty third, and it's going to be uh, if you're translating the time I don't know the times I did the conversions on a separate sheet but it's going to be CST nine to twelve a.m. No, yeah, nine to twelve a nine. It's, I guess it's nine a.m. to twelve p.m. But um, that's just the times it's going to be in and. Um, yeah, I guess Gabe you don't have to be in the voice chat anymore since uh, since I can't see your camera But I'm going to this game's about 10 minutes long, so it won't take long. I think I'm dropping frames a little bit, but I Think it'll be okay um, It says I'm going 60 FPS, but in games running a little less natively like I'm hovering around 35 FPS so maybe I can drop my frames. Maybe that oh, yeah, it's around 50 now. I don't think it'll be too bad Anyway, what's going on here in game? Loco went pull first and then second hatch. I think that's just playing it safe. I don't know what he scouted here Look at that he killed the SCV that was building the command center delaying this second command center Dealing with some Reaper harass over here. Um, 
Um, also, I'm excited to announce that Rushi, Rushi Churio, of course, from the Loco stream and his own stream, will be guest casting in this game, and um, he'll be casting with us. So, that's pretty exciting. He's, I mean, this guy's got a laundry list of stuff he's going on here. Let me show you real fast. Like, I mean, he's casting Team Liquid 5, and uh, uh, he's a team caster for Alphax, the team, you know, 6.7k games in his career, you know, it's <laughs> pretty great. Um, but yeah, he'll be joining me on the 22nd and 23rd, and hopefully we'll just have a good time of it. Uh, yeah, Gabe, we're gonna have to fix this frame rate issue. Don't know what's going on here. We will fix it here in a bit. Okay. So, third base on the way. Terran is... Uh, looks like he just opened up with the 1-1-1. One, 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 but he's going to choose Banshee tech. Of course, that's... Um, with a cloak. Going to come around here. Try to do some harassment. You got the Hellion Reaper hit squad coming in. So, Banlin Nest... Evolution Chamber, Evolution Chamber, stacked in here with a nice, nice wall. I like that a lot. The Vikings poking away at the Overlord, of course. I think my game volume needs to come down here in a little bit as well. Just gotta make some mental notes. Alright, the Terran has built up a sizable force of Hellions. But, if you just let your workers sit at home, or let your army sit at home and do no damage, they're kind of useless. Zerg would just get more and more ahead. Loco's putting these spores in response to seeing that Banshee tech come up. First Banshee out on the way, waiting for Cloak to finish, but I highly doubt it'll do any damage. The spore crawler's coming up, he's got queens. Everything seems to be looking in order, actually. Alright, the Zerglings are running back this way, probably trying to intercept all these guys. Stopped by the Queens, very good. The Banshees are heading out. Now, the Terran has an opportunity to do two pronged harass here. You got the Hellions over here. You got the Banshees over here. Looks like that's exactly what he's gonna do. Loco's gonna need to be prepared for this. Fourth base on the way already. Alright, so you got a worker, two workers, three. Let's see if the layer tech is done here. Almost done. Layer allows you to build over overseers. It's really nice. As far as tech of choice, uh, Loco still has not shown his hand. The layer opens up plenty of opportunities. For example, going roaches or hydras or spire. And as for the Terran over here. Uh, looks like he's gonna go hard into bio, adding on these extra f barracks. And, uh, probably gonna engage these Hellions. Oh, I was about to say, you don't wanna go there. It's all good. It's all good. Of course, this is Brenda and her hitting crew. Alright, little Lenny's coming across the map, spotted by that Viking, but I am not sure how much the Terran can do about this. His Hellions are over here. His Banshees are somewhere over here. Okay, well, I guess there's, uh, there's Marines, right? As far as Loco goes, he's in a super good position. He's just got to build a couple more drones. Then he can start armying up. It's actually an actual term, armying up. I think that's correct StarCraft terminology, right? You drone up or you army up.
Two two on the way and centrifugal hooks. Looks like Loco is going to be going hydralisks. These upgrades are going to be here done in a few seconds. Terran is looking to go out to a push. Of course, my frame rate is at a cinematic 24 frames per second. Awesome. Amazing. Banshees are coming back on in. All right, here's the big push. This is really gonna test the performance of my computer. Rolling in them banelings. Killing those siege tanks. Loco actually gets an amazing engagement out of here. Those banelings actually connect with the Terran army. Um, unfortunately, he's a little bit off creep. Zerg reinforcements coming on in. Uh, at this point, you have 80 to 70 workers. Uh, Loco vastly outmining his opponent, even with mules. Uh, army count in favor of Loco. I mean, we knew, we all knew Loco was pretty good StarCraft player. And he's just demonstrating his skills down over here. He's gonna start threatening this wall, finds his way into the third base mineral line. And he just gonna take advantage of this. Look, the army is stuck over here. Um, maybe gonna get that bane in there there we go a couple work kills hydras on the flank at the same time the loco uh, is being under attack by this hit squad over here this base under attack also this base under attack so chaotic um this is a uh, this is a proper swarmy kind of style from the zerg all right just keep building units and throw them at them until the terran breaks of course, Loco's up in, in economy. He can afford to do this. He's got lots of larva with his macro hatch over here. He's, start, he's starting Throtras. What's going on here? Just kidding. Ultras are pretty good. Looks like Loco is setting up for another engagement. He is on his way to being maxed out. Not quite yet, but... Looks like the Terran is going to be encroaching on the Zerg creep over here. I think Loco had it in for that one siege tank. You know, with little wings on the Ultra, you'd think they can fly, right? No. Can't fly, Ultras can't fly. Even if they wanted to, I don't think Zerg units can abduct it. You can't abduct Ultras, I don't think. It's okay. A little scary, a little scary over here. Uh-oh, this is also kind of really scary. Zerglings! 33 upgrades on the way. A little push over here. Will Loco see it? Maybe. Alright, he's got Zerglings over here. Looks like he was pushed back over here. His army pulled back to uh, defend this little push. Oh, Terran is playing from behind. Of course, he has mules, which evens up the economy. But, as far as um, upgrades go, I think we're going to have to give it to Loco over here. Being able to support these upgrades with his economy. I like this, preparing for a preemptive drop. Uh, Zergling Burrowed here. And... Well, I guess there is a drop in coming. At this point in the game, if the Terran doesn't expand, start building his planetary fortresses, um, Zerg is going to be halfway across the map, and there's nothing Terran can do about it. This is a good siege position. Look, we're setting up for a surround. One over here, one out here, one in here. 
No dudes to defend this drop, but um, looks like he's doing A-OK -okay with his entrenched position. That hatch goes down. Couple of zerglings being really annoying. If this keeps going on any further, 60 to 80 workers. I don't think the Terran has uh, has the economy nor the willpower to start rebuilding things. Gotta come in, engages those siege tanks. Look at that. Siege tank's gone down. Beautiful connections. Look at that. Ama oh, that was huge. Massive. I guess throw chairs are pretty good. He's got corruptors on the way. He finally has a way to deal with those medevacs. Second base under fire. Third base under fire. Probably the fourth base too. Eh, kind of. Anyway. Everybody swarm in! Get him! I think this is GG for the Terran. Don't know if he has uh, the guts to admit that yet, but... That's it. It's game over, dude. Oh, uh, the, the, never mind. Those two, those two, two siege tanks? Bam. Saves the day. Get, get out of here. Look at this! Morphing Broodlords right in front of the... The doorstep of the Terran. Amazing. Incredible. GG. And, um, and that's the, um, that's the play. That, that, that is indeed the play. <laughs> okay, so I am just going to do this again, um, since we got distracted earlier here before I go offline. Okay, so, uh, my name is Fluffy Waffle, and... I'm excited to announce a couple of things that I've been working on for the past few months. Uh, specifically, the Fox Waffle Cup, which is a tournament that's happening on May 22nd and May 23rd. That's a Friday and a Saturday. Um, and on the 22nd, we're going to be holding the Plat Gold Bracket. And on the May 23rd, we're going to be holding the Master Diamond Bracket. Uh, semifinals are going to be best of threes. Finals are going to be best of fives. The winner either gets a one month of... Uh, Twitch Prime and uh, or one month of Discord Nitro. I am on the wrong screen. Um, but we're going to have a lot of fun. You know, this is just to encourage some casual players. So if you want to join, there are a couple of spots open on the Plat Gold bracket. Master Diamond bracket is currently full, but if you want to join, you can just contact me about the details. Um, we're just gonna have a lot of fun and uh, hopefully everything goes according to plan and I hope I will see you there Thank you